Hey everybody, it's Faith and Fire Saints here. I hope everybody's well. Alright, Sagittarius, you are up for January round two, 2022. What do you got to say about that? Let's hmm, bring it down for you. This isn't going to be the normal round two. Um, I'm going to go into the what's going on with you in another reading later this month. This is going to be uh, anything I might have missed in the first reading. See if I can catch anything else out of the universe. So, that being said, if it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to whatever you choose to do with the message. Remember the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. Just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your moon, rising, or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better, or you can leave it on the table altogether and walk away. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can be moved vice versa. Might even play it from the perspective of a cross watcher. No difference. Cross watchers are always welcome at Fire Sign Territory. Everybody's always welcome at my table. And I appreciate everybody stopping by to say hello to little old me. If you're new, I think we might vibe and stuff. You know the subscribe button, the notification bell, if you think you might want to come by more often. If you're returning, welcome back. I have open comments back up. So as long as people aren't being jerks, you're more than welcome to leave a comment. Anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel. It all helps the videos, particularly to those who might need the messages. And as always, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. And I'm going to say it one more time. And if it's not yours, do not take it with you. Okay? <laughs> Leave it on the table. Don't go manifesting unnecessary things in your life, okay? Alrighty. I'm going to give it one more good one. Oh my gosh, these poor cards. Oh my gosh, these poor cards. I'm going to attempt to give it one more good one. I think the Witch's Tarot might be just about done, guys. <laughs> might be just about done. Alright. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any message you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for January round 2, 2022. Thanks for coming in and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given. I ask that you help me use it to bring Sagittarius to their highest possible spiritual good and put them in their highest possible spiritual path. Sag, what's going on? We'll reversed. Oh gosh. Dad's playing Daughtry. Two of Wands. Okay. Oh. Ah! My goodness. Nine of Swords in the reverse. See first major out Virgo. Well, the first major was the world, second major was the wheel, both of which are associated with more than one zodiac sign. So, the hermit it is. All right, talk to me. Need clarity. At this point, it could be a Leo, a Virgo, or a Pisces you're dealing with. Maybe Gemini. Maybe Taurus. 
Any fixed sign. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune decided to come out, so this was destined and faded. Put that right there since it came out without intention. Talk to me about this world card. Second time the wheel's out, by the way. What's up with the world card? Aww. That's cute. That's a deep connection. Could be like past life stuff. Could have known the person for a long time, but... I keep hearing that song, Daughtry. It's not over? Is that what that one's called? I'm trying to do a right this time around. Part of me is dead in the ground. Wow. I don't think you want this to be over. But somebody moved on. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here for how you feel about the person you're dealing with, Sagittarius? Ace of Wands. Ah! They're off doing something new. Possibly you feel like they left because they were sad, because some cups got spilled. They failed to see the two cups that were left. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Princess of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Maybe they pursued something slower, something more equal, something better for them. <sighs> Why the Hermit for your intended actions, Justice? Oh, wow. Sherry, you're moving on. You're putting, you're distancing yourself. You're trying to restore balance. You're walking whatever path you need to walk. You're letting go. You're going to let this come to a close. You don't want to, but you're going to. Proud of you. Proud of you. Like, for real. Okay. Why the King of Swords is the outcome. Hi. King of Swords. Can't make this shit up, guys. That's logical, non-emotional choices. Give me one more. The moon. You're not asking questions. You're allowing yourself to stay in the dark. You're letting it end. Okay, let's talk about them. Let's talk about them. What's going on with them? They're drained. Strength reversed, nine of swords reversed. I think they're hella drained. Why the strength reversed? Could be a Leo. They're resting. They're drained. They're done. They need time. How do they feel about you is the Six of Swords. Why the Six of Swords? Why the Six of Swords? Thank you, King of Pentacles.
if you left for a better offer. They just let you walk away. Wow. They just let you walk away. They stood there and watched. <laughs> Could view is a little bit cocky and overbearing, Seven of Cups. Yeah. Yeah. You had a lot of options and they knew it. They knew it. Ace of Cups, High Priestess. The connection's still there. They still feel it. They still hold a cup for you. They would like to start something new, but you have walked away. Six of Swords, Eight of Cups. Why the High Priestess reversed for how they feel, what they think of you? Why the High Priestess reversed? Princess of Cups, Princess of Swords. Ha! Immature and egotistical. Wow. Dang. One more. That's some wishy-washy truth speaking. Pages, okay, Pages of Princess. Interchangeable, really. But sometimes they tell you things you don't want to hear. King of Wands reversed. Oh my gosh. Angry. Maybe a little bit butt hurt, egotistical, immature. Dang. Speak some more truth. Whoa. Can I get a positive card on that? I'm hearing always full of apologies. Always full of apologies. I'm just reading cards, Sag. I'm a Sag son. So, I'm just reading cards. Fool. Prince of Wands. I'm leaving it there. Foolish. Spontaneous. Wishy-washy. In and out. That's what they think of you. Okay. So they just let you ride away. <laughs> Prince of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Probably still watching you. Probably still in communication with you. Why the Knight of Wands for their intended actions toward you? Why the Knight of Wands? Four of Wands. And the Queen of Swords. Oh. What? The star. They're gonna they're gonna wait for you to come back, try to heal this. Why the Queen of Swords? for you to come back and heal this so they can say I told you so. Wow. Oh, wow. <sighs> I'm sorry, who's the immature butthurt one? I'm just throwing that out there. Sag, I don't think it's you. You might be dealing with someone slightly narcissistic just throwing that out there. I can see now why you're letting it end. I can see now why you would choose the moonlit path. 
rather than deal with this. Why the Seven of Swords? Here's the outcome for the other person. Why the Seven of Swords? I almost felt bad for them for a minute. I saw them as drained and heartbroken, which they might be. I'm going to come back and try to commit. They're going to come back and try to get you to commit. After all that. After the I told you so. I don't see it happening though. Ace of Swords is in the reverse. Ten of Cups. What kind of wishy-washy crap is this? <clears throat> Queen of Wands. Prince of Swords at the bottom of the deck. What? One more. Tower, King of Pentacles. Let me get this straight. They're going to wait for you to come back. Just to say I told you so. This feels like head games. Nine of Swords. Emperor. They're a control freak. They're trying to get to you. They're trying to get inside your head. Hermit. Two of Swords. Wow. 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 Conflict. Oh my gosh. Two of Wands. Wow. I do not know who you are dealing with. But oh my gosh. Um... Wow. Okay. King of Pentacles. Sad, you need to not concentrate on love right now. Know that love is waiting for you, but... Don't concentrate on that right now. Process whatever it is you need to process. And then move forward. Or you're not going to heal. You're just going to go through the same crap all over again. Conflict. Emperor shows back up. Oh my gosh. Wow. They end up defeated. They do. <coughs> Whatever they have planned ends up blowing up in their face. And they eventually have to work back toward their nine cups again. But I see them attempting to come back with a big fat apology. And then distancing themselves again. Before finally accepting the fated situation. Wow. Sag, I don't know who you're dealing with, but this just got deep. Oh my gosh, this just got deep. <coughs> because they're just out for one last round because they do not want this cycle to end. Could be somebody you have a family with. Ten of Pentacles. had a family with, have a family with, like, the 2.5 kids in the house and the dog and all that happy jazz. Too many. I need a moonology. Oh my goodness, Sag, what just happened on my table? What just happened on my table? Too many.
serious finger pointing here. I'm not being biased because I'm a sad son. There's some finger pointing going on. Time for healing. Yes, absolutely. That sounds wonderful. Absolutely. Give me a wisdom oracle and we're going to call it a read for Sag. Imagine. All right. A time for healing. The basalmic moon. Pulling this card suggests that the past is in the past and a bright future is beckoning. However, before you take the, your next step, make sure that both you and the situation feel healed. This is not the time to paper over cracks or to simply pretend that everything is okay. Rather, you still need a little more time to heal and to soothe both yourself and anyone else in need. And remind yourself that anything is possible if you believe it. This is also a time to surrender and wait to hear guidance from the universe. Powerful insights can be at hand. If you know that someone or something really isn't good for you, this card is a reminder to surrender. Start to work on your belief in your dreams so you're ready when the time comes. Oh my gosh, Sag. What was I just saying? What was I just saying? You need a minute. You need a minute. All right, number 20, imagine. Number 20. Essential meanings, turning imagination into manifestation, creative thought, visualization, the power of aligning imaginary and feelings, creativity and illusions. Relationship message. In matters of the heart, it's easy to daydream about another as a means of connecting to that person. Well, that's romantic. If you want this relationship to be real, you need to go for it, not just dream about it. Now is the time to move beyond the daydream and into reality, beyond delusion and into fruition. Relationships are about relating. So step out onto the dance floor where imagination partners with manifestation. The message of this card is that a person with attributes you have imagined will enter your life. You will be changed for the better. Imagine that. Didn't I say some good was coming? You just needed to wait? Y'all! Mm. Sag, have a wonderful wonderful rest of your January. Take care. Know that you're loved. Be blessed. Peace, love, and light. And I will catch y'all next time.